Greetings all. On today's video, I'd like to cover a few aspects of the amazing Heat Sound Ebo. If you've hung out here on the Chords of Orion channel, you've seen me using this device to create violin and flute tones on my guitar. If you haven't already done so, I would encourage you to watch a tutorial, I'll include the link around here, that I did a while ago on how to use the Ebo in general. On this video, I'd like to cover an interesting capability of the Ebo, and that is the standard versus harmonic mode of operation. So, let's get to work. First of all, let's check out my guitar tone without the Ebo. Here we go. Okay, and what I've got going on there, um, pretty simple actually. I've got a compressor, in my case the Wampler Ego. I've got a little bit of a distortion going, as you probably heard. I'm using the Strymon Sunset. There's a volume pedal, in my case the Morley Little Alligator. I've also got the Strymon Dig for some delay, and finally the New Neighbor Immerse for a little bit of reverb. All right, so here is the standard Ebo sound that I normally will go for. And this is using just the neck pickup of the guitar with the tone control rolled all the way down. Here we go. All right, really nice sound, okay? Now, what you probably heard on that last note was a little bit of a harmonic series that was kind of riding on top of the fundamental pitch of the, you know, of the guitar string. And that is one really interesting thing that you can do with the Ebo. So again, I've got it in standard mode. So there's a, there's a uh, switch in the back of the e, uh, Ebo. If it's in the middle, uh, the Ebo is off. If you switch it to what is my left, your right, um, that puts it into standard mode, okay? And that means that the Ebo will basically play, generally, basically play the actual pitch of the string, right? So here's a D, right? And if I use the Ebo on that string, I generally get a D. However, you will also get occasional harmonics going on. All right, so how did I get those harmonics? Basically what I did was I just gently pushed the e bow in closer to the string. So as it rides above the string, I'm gonna exaggerate here, I'm just gently pushing it so that the Ebo is tracking closer to the string itself. Let me show you that again. So I'll start fairly far away and then push it down. One thing that's kind of cool that you'll hear me do occasionally is push the Ebo down so far that the string actually begins to rattle against the track there, that middle track of the Ebo. Let me show you what I mean. And if you play around with that and kind of get a feel for that, you can actually use that to kick your string into some higher harmonic mode. It comes in especially handy in the low strings, like the bass. I like that a lot. And again, you'll hear me use that occasionally in some of the ambient guitar meditations that I do. All right, so that's normal mode. You actually do have quite a bit of creative flexibility, if that's a phrase, for um, kicking off harmonics um, on your notes as you play the Ebo. The other option is to flip this switch from standard mode to harmonic mode, and that's actually going to just excite the upper harmonics of the note 
uh, regardless of how close the ebo is to the string. Let me show you what I mean. Again, I'm gonna play a D. Okay, so that's the root pitch. Here we go. You can hear it instantly plays a higher harmonic. Really nice. Again, um, you can you can play around with it with the uh, with string pressure pressure of the ebo against the string. I should say. So you can kick that high harmonic into an even higher harmonic as you get the ebo track or uh, you know that little channel there closer to the string itself and if you have it rattle against the string you can get some really interesting weird effects here we are on the low g Okay, that's a little annoying to listen to for you know a long period of time. But in the middle of a song where the mood and the tone of whatever you're playing warrants it, it can be a really cool effect. All right, just a couple of quick tips of how to use the standard and harmonic mode of the Heat Sound Ebo to get interesting harmonics over top of the fundamental pitch of the notes that you're playing. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I've got ambient guitar-related content coming every week. I'd love to have you on board. Also, um, I've got Amazon affiliate links down in the description, the video description for all of the pedals and gear and all that good stuff if you're interested. And finally, I've got some links available for you to check out Chords of Orion Music. And as always... I'll see all of you on the next video.